Round of applause for both teams right here, making it all the way to the finals. Fantastic job, guys. These are the least drunk people of the entire night because that means they've won all the games leading up to this tournament. And don't forget the winner, as I pull out the cash in my hand right now, three hundred, three hundred dollars. Show the camera right there. Three hundred big ones going to tonight's winner. All right, now you guys know the rules. I need to read that. Thanks for coming out. It's all brought to you by Budweiser, the King of Beers, SPNL Events. Check us out, facebook.com backslash SPNL Events. It's also brought to you by Billionaire Lifestyles. Push your weight, tits, and beerpong.com. Shout out to my man Erwin, hooking up the videography and the photography. Look for us on Facebook, tag yourself. And I think we're, we're ready here. On my left, your right, making it all the way to the finals. Show some love, make some noise for Big Dick Cypress. And on my right, making it to the finals, we've got the team Plain and Simple. Show some love for the team Plain and Simple. Uh, my name is Marvin Matanani. Uh, my name is Patrick Carlos. And uh, we're Big Dick Cypress. I, um, I'm actually a graphic designer at Ambrose, uh, Budweiser and Bud Light Guam. Um, I'm a full-time student at UOG, uh, majoring in uh, secondary education. Once upon a time, actually, far, far away. Far, far away. <laughs> no, uh, actually, it's very funny. Um, my team didn't show up. It was like maybe five to two minutes right before the tournament. Like it was about to start, like literally about to start. And I was freaking out. I was giving my teammates like 10 o'clock to come, you know. We don't usually push the tournament that far. And um, you know, I saw Pat right there, he was, you know, there's a bright shining light on him. And I went up to him and I was like, Pat, do you have a teammate? And he's like, no, I don't. And I was like, the angels started singing. I was like, yes, now the teammate. And then, that's how we formed. Big, big side <laughs> um, I've been playing for a couple years. You know, just got introduced from the, the boys from Shady Hills. Shout out to Jigo. Um, we just playing house, you know, house roles, you know, and stuff. We never tried out tournament roles, you know. And then from then on, it just started just picking up and then just, yeah, it just started picking up on group on it. Well, with me, um, I actually started maybe a few years ago with uh, my boy James Whippy. We used to have a team name called Some People Never Lose. And uh, after that, we started throwing underground tournaments uh, down in Pago Bay. Uh, we used to have like up to 20 teams, you know, and I, and I really thought, you know, we have something here. We have something that maybe we can take to the bars and all scratchers called us up and we've had tournaments since. You gotta have that, you gotta have that. I think it's not, it's more of like skill, you know, you got, it's not more about power, it's just about how that arches to that wall. Yeah. yeah you know that arch? We're once archers, you find, we're archers. You know, once you find that, that arch, you know, that art, you're guaranteed gonna sing that club. The team to look out for was, uh, I was just scoping out, you know, I, you know, I was just scoping out the competition, who was there, you know, just like, when I got there, I was just like, Watching the people that were practicing, you know, who were really like in for that, you know, to win that money, you know, just catching all those people. And I saw a couple, you know, I, I don't know anybody by names. I just saw a couple, you know, by face, you know, I saw who was who was very, you know, in for that money. And I, when we, when it came to those people that I remember in my, you know, my head, I was like, oh, okay, I gotta make sure I get on top of the, you know, make sure we get on top of these guys, you know, hopefully we're, we're not behind. So, uh, for me, uh, it was it was Brandon and, uh, and Alex. Um, Shout out to you guys, and uh, that, that was actually the team to look out for. I, they never really teamed, teamed up with each other before. And I was just afraid to even challenge them. And when they came up across the table, I was dreading it. I even looked at my teammate and I was like, dude, uh, who, gives a, who gives a F, who's in front of us? Um, let's take this. And uh, 
Uh, let's annihilate him. Let's take him out cut by cut. Take your time and your shots. Throw it, you know, you can just close your eyes and oh, you know, but once it comes to that one cup, that's where that's where everything comes. Oh! Uh, shout outs to Ball Catchers, SPNL Events, and uh, by Guam. I would like to thank uh, Tits Brand, Pushing Weight, uh, Party Booth, and Manny Rona and his boys, um, Affiliate, affiliate Lifestyles. Uh, I want to thank DJ Nemesis for coming out, um, Fred Tastic as well for hosting and uh, taking care of uh, my party Aaron. Um, uh, shout out to Jigo Boys, Jigo Ladies, you guys know who you are, uh, YLYG, uh, 653, shout out to Dave, Bong, especially Phil, you know, I know you got my back. Uh, I would like to thank the Mud Boys, uh, Jarvis for taking me there, Vince, John, Bruce. Uh, and the Bud ladies as well. I want to thank Jazz for taking me home, uh, keeping me safe. Um, I want to thank Bill as well. Uh, Bill for always keeping us there. And, and Patrick, my boy Patrick, uh, Titan, oh, thank you, man, for staying the whole way. I want to thank my baby, my baby mama, and uh, my love of my life. Uh, thank you for letting me go to the tournament and being there and not getting mad at me for coming home a little bit late. That. I want to thank my neighbors for not complaining about uh, our practices on Thursdays. Oh, same here too, same here. My familia, familia, sorry for making loud noises at the houses, but hey, thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I hope to see you guys uh, next week and hope to see you guys at the finals. Peace.